my oval, we're back with another cigar review. So let's guess what I'm smoking today. Of course, I bought a Padron, 1964, my favorite. So nice to start the new year off right with a Padron. Nicaraguan, what is it, Maduro wrapper? I should know this, I smoke these all the time. No help from the producer, I guess. All here by myself today. Nice to have a little cutter with you, everywhere you go. You need to lube this up a little bit, it's a little stuck, a little, uh, a little bit, uh, not used as much, if you know what I mean. Is anything okay over there? You're doing great. Uh, okay. Pass. All right, I got one. Never mind. My little torch here. It's a little mini gun. There's nothing better than a Padron. You look tape for 45 minutes, I can do this all day. So I'm a big Maduro guy, and so darker the better, that's what I usually say. And it tastes really, really good, especially after having some Italian food with extra garlic. It's a great blend, brings out the flavors. Only if I had some whiskey. Thank you so much. Appeared out of nowhere. Not only if I had a cup that wasn't used before. There we go. Oh, man. This bad. <laughs> there may or may not be some mold in here, so we'll figure it out. It's a great alcohol for any germs in there. Nothing better with some Blantons and a Padron. Yeah, it really brings out the flavors. A little bit of that bourbon with the uh, little bit of spice. So naturally, I would say Padron has a much darker taste. Kind of like a, you know, a very dark Maduro. Anyways, like, it's a lot of earthy tones, I'd say. No toast. Definitely tobacco flavored. I really don't have to describe it. It's just the best cigar I've ever had. Is that the best way to describe it? Oh, that's like 20 puffs right there. So we'll end it here. I'll come back when I'm halfway through. So after getting a little further through the Padron 1964, I really started to notice like some like uh, special flavors, black cherry, um, some dark chocolate as well, a little bit of hints of pepper. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit to get out, a little bit, you know, either I have a special with it, with a pairing, or I'll have a whiskey as I'm drinking now. Always love a good scotch. <sighs> flavors perfect. And um, I just asked this, but usually the ash is really nice looking. Always wanted a good looking ash. And the construction of Padron is very good, so the ash always comes out very uh, round and circular. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me get halfway through this, and I'll come back with more of a final round, so to speak. If like see if the flavor changes, anything else changes, I'll let you guys know right away. So I did have a really nice ash on here. Unfortunately, it fell off as I walked back towards the camera. Major issue here is the pepperiness has gone down quite a bit, but I kind of like it. You, know, you still have the like, darker flavors, the black cherry, you know, espresso, still there. Um, but I love a Maduro, love, love a good Maduro. But uh, this is a very short one, but uh, I'll come back a little bit later when I'm finished. Almost down to the nub. I'm almost done with the Padron. <sighs> Once again, I was trying to show you the ash. The ash is so good on this one. But uh, anyways, um, so the pepper is pretty much done. It's very mild now, but there's still like, like strong hints of like uh, dark chocolate and espresso. It tastes really, really good. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on YouTube and Spotify for the Scar Guys podcast and for more Scar reviews. Good. Okay, good.